Good morning, everyone. Today, we will discuss artifacts in CT scan. Before starting, we will discuss what is an artifact. An artifact is a visual impression in the image of a feature that does not actually exist in the tissue being imaged. They are important to recognize so as not to be confused with pathology. Artifacts may occur due to scanner malfunction, patient movement, and the presence of extrinsic objects within the slice being scanned, like a metallic foreign body. Fortunately, many artifacts have now been reduced or eliminated by advances in CT speed and technology. There are four types of artifacts. Motion artifact, partial volume artifact, metallic artifact, and beam hardening artifact. First, we will discuss motion artifact. Motion artifact is an artifact that occurs with voluntary or involuntary patient movement during image acquisition. It appears as blurring, streaking, or shading caused by patient movement during a CT scan. Blurring also occurs with patient movement during radiographic examinations. If patient movement is voluntary, patients may require immobilization or sedation to prevent the movement. Involuntary motion, such as respiration or cardiac motion, may cause artifacts that mimic pathology in surrounding structures. This is an example of a motion artifact. In this image, the patient's movement causes blurring and double images. In a severe motion artifact, the violent movement causes the skull to appear as if it has been cut. Next, we will discuss partial volume artifacts. Partial volume artifact occurs when tissues of widely different absorption are encompassed on the same CT voxel, producing a beam attenuation proportional to the average value of these tissues. Contamination can occur especially with thicker slices and near bony prominences. Always review the slices above and below to assess for structures likely to cause partial volume artifacts. It can be reduced by using thinner slices and software compensation. In this patient, we can see partial volume artifact circled in yellow, decreases with thinner slices. Next, we will discuss metallic artifacts. Metallic artifacts appear as dark and bright streaks, which severely degrade the image quality and decrease the diagnostic value of the examination. The attenuation coefficient of metal is much greater than any structure within the body. As a result, radiation is completely attenuated by the object and information about adjacent structures is lost. Lastly, we will discuss beam hardening artifacts. Beam hardening artifact results from an increase in the average energy of the X-ray beam as it passes through a tissue. Think of CT as using a spectrum of radiation energy. Low energy radiation is filtered out by high density structures such as bone, leaving higher energy radiation that is less absorbed by soft tissues, causing low attenuation streak artifact. It characterized by linear bands of low attenuation connecting two areas of high density, such as bone, like the posterior fossa in the brain. It can be reduced by using a filter to adjust the spectrum of radiation and by post-processing software. I think that's all for now. See you next time.